a disguise, never a flies, I think it's time for you to roll And it shows when you open up your mouth without the proof The moral of the story, you should never cry wolf What's going on YouTube? It's your man Black Sage 21 and it's Friday so you already know it's free day and we're getting into another team deathmatch and I'm loving team deathmatch now. It's completely changed. It's completely, I don't know what's going on but I can't even explain it because I couldn't explain what had happened to it before but um, as you can see I'm rocking out with the MP7. I have to say that's probably my favorite weapon now. It's a submachine gun. It's got uh, mobility, high mobility. It's got a decent rate of fire. I usually try and put rapid fire on it to increase the power of the weapon. It's got great uh, accuracy. Uh, at range, it's not as powerful as you know I'd like it to be, but if it was any more powerful, it probably would be one of those guns that people complain about all the time. So um, I think it's well balanced. And I get a lot of questions asking me, you know, what class I would put it put with the mp7 or how would I make an mp7 class I've done a ton of videos on the mp7 I really don't know what more you guys want from me it's in my opinion it overall is probably the best submachine gun uh, it's one of the only submachine guns that I feel like you can pick it up stock and you really don't have any issues with you don't have to you don't have to put a sight on it you don't have to you know do rapid fire you don't have to put range or anything on it like you can if you want to of course the proficiencies are there but I think what the mp7 allows you to do is kind of like really tailor it to your own style so I would I would encourage you guys to kind of play around with the mp7 get used to the iron sights if you can get used to the iron sights and you uh, you free up that attachment you can use it for something else I usually run rapid fire and melee melee allows you to, to recover from your knife faster which you know I think it's critical I mean how many times you get killed after knifing and you're just like in limbo you can't do anything you're recovering from your knife so um, I love this weapon because it allows me to do that alright so we're just gonna let the game play I don't really have too much to say about this gameplay but um, I figured I'd talk a little bit about a couple of things um, I can't remember if this was a I think so, this was a question or someone asked me um, it's it's still along the lines of you know that whole how did I get good thing or whatever but um, they were just I guess they I've been getting a lot of people backing out on me in games like whenever I'm doing well or if I'm with the team and we start off doing well people back out of the games all the time and it's frustrating because obviously it's like okay we got a full party we're playing against a full team or whatever and then all of a sudden it's only like three people on the opposite team and that comes from you know people not really liking a challenge uh, one of the reasons I've gotten good in this game is because I don't back down from challenges and if you guys are looking to improve in any aspect of your life it doesn't have to be Call of Duty I mean it could be anything it could be uh, doing math or you know a particular aspect of your job anytime something is difficult you know like I say it's an opportunity for you guys to learn grow and better yourself and you know don't shy away from situations that may seem difficult because that's how you grow that's how you become better and of course that's how you get better in Call of Duty as well or any other game that you might play you always want to surround yourself with players that are better than you players that beat you because how can you grow if you all you do is win you're always gonna learn more from losing so I just wanted to you know say that because I know a lot of you guys probably get frustrated and you want to back out of games all the time or whatever um, now that I'm in Dallas and I've mentioned before I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about tournaments Call of Duty tournaments I've never gone to one I know you guys have asked me about it and you probably expect that I have gone to tournaments and stuff like that but it's something I really have never taken the time to do, but I'm definitely interested. So if any of you guys have any information about maybe some upcoming tournaments in Dallas, let me know because, you know, if I'm free and, you know, whatever, I'd, I'd definitely like to try it out. Um, I've been keeping you guys up to date about, you know, like my situation here in Dallas as far as finding a job and, you know, just a little bit of things going on in my life. Well, today I had an interview for a, an apprenticeship uh, to become an electrician and 
it's something that I've always been interested in, but I really never thought about actually going to school and becoming an electrician. So uh, I went in for the interview today, which actually ended up just being a test. And um, I have to go back tomorrow because I didn't get a chance to finish the test. Uh, and so I ended up failing the test. So I'm going back tomorrow to retake it. But uh, apparently if I pass the test, I should be able to get the job. So we'll see what happens. I'll make sure to keep you guys up to date with that. Some other fun news. Last week, me and my roommates went out uh, looking for furniture. It's actually something, you know, we've been doing since we got here. But last week, we actually ended up finding some furniture. And uh, I tell you what, man, when you got three people trying to decide on furniture and we're all like particular people, it could be pretty tough. You wouldn't think that it'd be hard to find furniture for three guys, but. Um, yeah, we all have our own styles and our own opinions about what's what looks good and stuff like that. So <laughs> it was fairly tough, but we ended up finding this deal. It's an amazing deal. We got a couch. It's like a six-piece sectional. And uh, we got a table. We got a lamp. We got a uh, entertainment system along with a 51-inch plasma TV <laughs> for like... $2,500 and then in addition to that we bought a, a dining room table and stuff like that so that'll be delivered pretty soon but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed it um, hit me up with your questions and stuff I'm trying to answer all the questions and stuff that you guys been sending but uh, don't forget to rate comment subscribe favorite like and um, I'll let your boy sage